Stephen, just how pleased are you with that performance tonight? Um, I'm, I'm very pleased with the results. Um, over the two legs, I think we've been outstanding and, and certainly obviously deserve to progress. And I think we, we've been very comfortable in the end. Obviously, the last half an hour were a bit sloppy, but careless, and um, the atmosphere in the ground changes. So we need to learn from that and, and see games out better and, and manage the game better. I'm looking for my experienced players there to just pull us together and, and just see the game out in a, in a better way. But over the course of the two legs, we've been really, really good and, and we've looked really strong. Were you pleased to get that early goal just after 40 minutes? Yeah, I'd say so. I think you know I always had confidence we were, we could progress tonight. Um, the players are in a good place, the mentality, the hunger is there and um, they're really keen to keep a consistent run going. So um, I was confident, I had belief in the players they could get the job done, but of course obviously getting the early goal always settles everyone, the crowd and, and certainly us as a staff. I can ask you about a couple of players in particular, Shio Ju and Fredo Morelos linked up brilliantly for all three goals tonight. Yeah, uh, two great players, uh, very mobile, very hungry to go and get numbers in the game. Uh, I thought Shea was outstanding today. Um, but I think Jordan Jones has been really strong in his last couple of performances, so I was keen to obviously get him a run out as well. But yeah, I mean, Shea will take a lot of plaudits and a lot of credit tonight. And um, I think that's the real Shea. You know, if we can find that on a consistent basis and bottle that performance, um, he'll certainly make us stronger. Alfredo's Alfredo. Um, he attacks the, the goal frame. He shows great composure for his first goal and great control for the second one. So, um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to, to stay on the pitch for, for obvious reasons. But, yeah, um, really pleased with all the front men. Scotty Arfield getting the assist as well. Uh, or the three ball for the first one, so yeah, really pleased. What does it say about your attacking options right now? When you look at your your bench, the players that came on, the players that are that are sitting there just now dying to get on the pitch. Yeah, I think in terms of numbers uh, and personnel, we we look very strong, but uh, players need to keep stepping up and keep performing. It, it's no good having numbers and names. Um, you know, we need people to come in like Shea tonight and perform, uh, like Jordan Jones in the previous games, Jermaine Defoe gets a hat at the weekend, Alfredo too. So when you get the opportunity, keep contributing and keep um, keep getting us the numbers that get us important victories. Legio, what's up next? Uh, what do you expect from them? Well, they've got big experience uh, in Europe, so they certainly deserve respect. I think they've kept uh, a lot of clean sheets of late. We'll be going to a hostile environment away from home first and foremost, but it's a game we're really looking forward to. Uh, I think it'll be a great tie, and certainly a 50-50 tie in, in my opinion, and um, it's one that all the players are really relishing. And as I say, you, you wanted to say to be, be professional tonight, and they certainly were that in terms of just the way, the way they went about their business. Yeah, I thought we were professional throughout, certainly over the both legs, and uh, I've got no criticism for me players, but I'm just uh, slightly concerned the last half an hour, you know, we make one mistake for the goal, and then um, we sort of lose control, and lose our discipline as a team and I'm just looking for my experienced players to just manage the game better and keep doing the right things but I suppose it's only normal when the ties won that you stop doing the basics very well and I think that's what we did. Yeah, just finally, East Fife on Sunday of course, is that a, an opportunity perhaps to, to shuffle your pack a wee bit again? Yeah, the pack will be shuffled, I'll give people an opportunity. Uh, people who've been giving me the daggers and the, the sly looks over the last couple of weeks for, for not getting enough game time, um, my message to them is go on then. See what you've got. There's your opportunity. And, uh, let's see how they play and let's see what they can do. But this is a huge game. Uh, if we want the, the more glamorous ties faded in the competition, we want to go to Hamden and, and, and compete for silverware, then you've got to go and deal with his five away from home on a tricky pitch. So. But the message will be clear at the weekend. Go on then. Go and take your opportunity.